Welcome to everyone. This is called Proviotis House. My name is Margarita Correa. Professionally, I am a chemical engineer. But what is the wow? What I want to show you that you say, okay, this is good to know that, but what is the real wow and what is this is? Invite everyone, every single one, to work with probiotics to do sequestering carbon, to reduce this greenhouse effect. I had done so many wows in my life with the use of probiotics. I understand probiotics is very simple. Probiotics is beneficial microorganisms that when you use an adequate amount, produce benefit to the host. Simple words, it's good micros who do the good job that we cannot do because we don't have time. But sometimes they can do the job by themselves. They need us to transport them to the problem is. Then here is the wow. When we create Probiotics House, we want to tackle the problems of contamination not at the end. One wastewater treatment is the end. One landfill is the end. Whatever you mention in the oceans is the end. The sustainability was for us to bring solutions from the beginning. One of the main issues we had, and it's, this is really my last things I'm going to do professionally, is that um, we had a loss of every day in our life releasing carbon dioxide, releasing carbon dioxide. And we are putting every day in our life more carbon up and up. Then I have been thinking why for so many years, probably the last 10 years, and to do something that is so simple to do it that you had excuse for not do it. Because sometimes to work with probiotics means discipline, but if you don't have that discipline or that time that you are so busy and you have a house and wives and husbands and children and you don't, please, what to do? I want to do something, but I don't have the time to do it. Then I say, okay, it's the time to do the opposite. Instead to do carbon in that way, let's do carbon in this way. The real name for that is sequestering carbon. That means we decarbonize. Now, our bill has never been in the carbonized economy that we should start now doing this. Then the proposal is instead the composting, producing carbon, because, okay, we are good in our bill doing composting. Many communities have the discipline to do composting. But still composting, even if you do with probiotics in liquid form, you still have some carbon dioxide and methane gas that are releasing to the atmosphere. Then, as scientists, I say, I have to do my last effort and to do in reverse. Then, for years we had been in this culture doing the probiotics liquid, that when you take your kitchen and food waste, you just sprinkler, but you had to cut the things, and then you had to compress, and make an aerobic, that means no oxygen, and then you had to have one tap similar to this to take out the lichen, otherwise you had a smell, even if you use probiotic liquid, then this is troublesome because people have no time. And then everybody do one hole and throw the things there and let the spirits do what they had to do. That the spirits, by the way, are microorganisms in the soil. Then I say, okay, taking these species in the soil that is called, most of them are bacillus families, bacillus species families. I say I had to be smart. And my smarter was, instead to be probiotics in liquid form, was probiotics in powder form. And the amazing thing is that this powder form different to the liquid because here is combination of aerobic and anaerobic. Then you're living like between oxygen and no oxygen. But when you are doing kitchen or food waste or any organic matter, 
you have to make sure there is no oxygen as much as possible. But when you're working with these living things in the soil, it's the opposite. You need all the oxygen you want. My professor, Dr. Teru Higa, Japanese professor, he said, the misery of the human beings is the oxygen. But now, I am working with the oxygen in the opposite way, making this oxygen to decarbonize. They the oxygen to sequester the carbon and fixing my soil. Then I say, okay, this is my kitchen. I put my daily uh, vegetable peels or food waste. After I go to one big bucket, doesn't matter. And then I throw in the compost pile or whatever. Then if you don't have the time, your life is so busy, then you are like the pinch of salt. What I say is just you need is the pinch of probiotics. And then you can use even the salt, uh, what is they call the salt glass container. And then you, you just do like this. And then you start to refill it. And then you fold, you pinch again. And then you put in the big bucket, when the big vessel, when the big things, and put in the soil and just leave it and you don't need to worry for compressing or taking leeches and acting. Just let the beautiful living probiotics do the job. Everybody in our society, the Auroville, 2,800 people, something like that. We do this in our kitchen. This is solution from the origin. When this go to whatever we dumping, it's no problem anymore. We are fixing carbon no greenhouse effect, no carbon footprint. This is my last wow. To learn more about MG Eco Duties and their probiotic products, follow the links in the description below. We thank you for stopping by and please remember to subscribe on your way out.